Hi guys, welcome to another video. I have got a bed full of stuff behind me that I'm about to show you guys because I recently went to our local kids consignment sale. It's called Just Between Friends and I go every six months religiously. It's pretty much where I buy 90% of our kids clothing and shoes and then I sell all of their old stuff that we don't need anymore and end up not really spending much or even sometimes making a profit off of the items that I'm getting. So I'm going to show you my latest haul and I'm going to tell you what everything costs and how much I spent overall as well. Okay, the first things I'm going to show you just to get them out of the way because there are a lot of them and they're very big are these Tinker Crates. These are from KiwiCo. This is not sponsored. We do subscribe to KiwiCo with our own money um, every month, but I found Tinker Crates at the JBF sale, and these are usually about $25 to $35 a box on the website. I got them for $10 each. There were seven of them there, and you better believe I got them all. <laughs> and so this one is the Sketch Machine, and Bailey and Quinn and Anthony have been working on that one downstairs. This is actually just an empty box. So we got the sketch machine one. We also got make your own labyrinth. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but we'll go with it. Make your own water fountain. We got make your own fiber optic stars, drift motorcycle, parabolic microphone and gimbal plane. So those are the ones we got. We're gonna be using some of them as gifts for friends and family that we know will be having birthdays coming up in this next six months or so. Um, and then we're gonna keep the rest because they love doing them with Anthony specifically. Next I'm gonna show you the books I got. I normally get a ton of books at these sales. But honestly, we just bought a new bookshelf because we ran out of room in our other two bookshelves for them. We have two of the eight cube organizers and we had to grab another one because we ran out of room. So I think I needed to like rain it down a little bit on buying books until we can go through and kind of filter out some that we want to sell. So I didn't get a ton of books this time, but I, I can't just like not get any. So I got Quinn this princess music book for $4 and it does actually play music. And it has all the stories. So she loves that and I can't turn it off, so we're gonna have to wait for this to be done. I also got Quinn this Sophia the First Look and Find. This was $3, and she likes these Look and Find books, and this one's probably a little simplistic for her, but this is one she can have in bed with her and even try to sound out some of the words on her own. I also got her Ambulance in Action. This was only a dollar. And every time ambulances or fire trucks go by driving or our house or anything, they're always super into it. So I figured she might like that. And then she also loves the If You Give a Mouse books. So I got her If You Give a Mouse a Brownie because it's the one we don't have. And that was $2. For Bailey, she is really into chapter books. And this girl loves the Magic Treehouse series. She reads basically a whole book each night. She got one through 26 for Christmas and she's already read through them all like twice. So I found a couple that she doesn't have. This is number 40, Eve of the Emperor Penguin. This was $2. And then number 28, High Tide in Hawaii, which was $4.50. And then she also loves Ivy and Bean books. So I got her this set of three Ivy and Bean books for only $4.00. And these are the ones she didn't have. One of them's a journal and she's already written like halfway through it and filled out all of the questions. So she really loves that. All right, just a few more random items before we jump into shoes and clothes, which is the bulk of what I got. Um, I got these Smarty Pants cards for grade one. We have the pre-K and the kindergarten level ones and they're kind of just too easy for them. So they don't use them anymore, but they did use to use them all the time. So I wanted to grab the first grade ones for them. And then I got three of these Easter egg dyeing cups. These were $2.50 each. They're $3 if you buy them at Target. So why not save 50 cents each because we needed some anyways for Easter, which is coming up next weekend. Okay, now we're going to jump into shoes. And a quick tip for you, if you are shoe shopping for your kids and you don't have your kids with you, whether it's at a thrift store or not, is to trace their foot on a piece of cardstock. And then I write like what size shoe I think they're in on there and then their name obviously. And then you can just slide the cardstock into the shoe and see how it fits. Is their toe going to touch the end? And you can get a lot more accurate sizing without your kid actually being there to try it on when you do this. So that's definitely a mom hack for you. So starting with Bailey, she has 
definitely grown out of a lot of her shoes and she needed more tennis shoes she needed more sandals because she's kind of she doesn't have someone handing them down to her like Quinn does so I found her these gray Nikes and they were eight dollars and they're in really really good condition as well so I did not mind paying eight dollars for a gently used pair of Nike tennis shoes that she's probably gonna get dirty anyways I did find her for three dollars some water shoes I get them water shoes every year and they wear them like once in the summer but um, they were three dollars and it was worth it I couldn't find any for Quinn so I might just grab her some on Amazon but that's okay I also got her these um, Olivia brand sandals for five dollars and fifty cents I really like the soft um, what do you call it? like macrame type design on them and they're really cushy as well so she'll probably really like those and they have the heel support so they'll stay on her while she runs unlike flip-flops um, I got her these basic they were only four dollars these basic strap on blue sandals mainly thinking of like the beach or if we go walk around the lake or something it's not a super long walk and she doesn't want to wear tennis shoes because it's hot out things like that where there are sandals that will stay on her feet um, because she does like to wear flip-flops but I don't like for her to wear those when we're going to be outside playing because they it te she tends to like get hurt easily she's <laughs> kind of taken after me with her clumsiness and so the more support and security I can give her on her feet the better going with that same kind of theme these are actually Madden girl uh, sandals and they were $12 so that is so cheap for Madden sandals and I love them I would totally wear these in my size for sure and then I also got her these native knockoffs the Skechers brand ones but I really there were actually natives there but I liked these ones better these were $10 because they have this like um, I don't know soft like stretchy heel so they're a lot less likely to give her blisters and if she wants she can just have them down like that and just slip them in and wear them as slide-ons so those will be really nice to have um, as options to be able to use those for okay that's it for Bailey for Quinn I also got her a pair of these Skechers hers were eight dollars and her favorite color is pink right now so I was not mad about finding these pink ones for her she really loves those um, they fit her perfectly right now too which is great they were a little iffy with the foot uh, paper but I was like I think it'll work because they're slip-ons they were like perfect size I also got Quinn these are brand new and they were three dollars they're Circo the Target brand um, and they're the flower they kind of like are see-through flowers perfect little summer shoe for her and like I said brand new for three dollars it's hard to beat that I also got her some sandals I got her four well three three pair of sandals and some slip-ons these are five dollars and they're old navy sandals and are also brand new they still have the tags on them the store tags on them so those are really cute I love those so much for four dollars and fifty cents I got her these cat and jack ones they look like they've been worn like once maybe super cute and Bailey used to have some like this so when Quinn saw these she flipped she loves she is not like the typical little sister that is like oh all I get is hand-me-down stuff she's like yes yeah, sis you grew out of it now I get it she's like pumped to get everything that her sister used to wear which is great for me and I hope that lasts we'll see um, these are the ones she actually picked these herself I facetimed her and I knew that she, these were gonna be some of her favorites because she loves pink but they're Laura Ashley brand and they were five dollars cute sandals with little flowers metallic pink flowers on them okay and then the next thing I got for her are these cat and jack gold dress shoes for four dollars and fifty cents gold sparkles she loves sparkly stuff she definitely loves more of the sparkles and pinks and golds and stuff and Bailey's more into the blues and she's kind of growing out of the whole being having pink is her favorite color so um, although pink is my favorite color so I guess do you really grow out of that I don't know this is one of my favorite finds these were seven dollars and they are pink sparkly toms for Quinn they are um, probably a size too big for her and I knew that was gonna be the case just by putting the, the foot paper I have in there 
but I cannot pass them up. They're in great condition. They're pink and sparkly. I mean, look at that for $7. Love them. So, so she, depending on if she goes through a growth spurt or not, she could be into those later this summer or it could be next summer, next spring and summer. We'll see. I don't know. I got two pair of shoes for River and I wanted to get the soft sole ones that are be a little bit easier for him to practice walking in. These ones are brand new and they were $3. So cute. And I have some smaller shoes for him that we were gifted just at like from friends and at the baby shower and stuff, but I didn't have any of these like the size that he'll be when he's starting to walk and these were $4. So we have two options for him. Okay, moving on to a couple kind of random things. <laughs> These were so cute. They were only $1.50, so I grabbed them. And they're little um, crawling knee pads. They were still in this box. I already took them out and used them. That's why the box was ripped. But they're little pineapples, and you put them on his knees. So when he's crawling around, it gives him padding. He's been crawling all over the place. And we have hard floors. We have a rug down in the living room. But he definitely doesn't stay on the rug. And his little knees were getting so red. So I thought maybe we'll get him some of these and see if that helps at all. And if not, we're only at $1.50. Not a big deal. Also, if you've been following our channel at all, you know we've had... So many struggles with getting him to take a bottle, a cup, uh, basically any form of liquid other than straight from the breast. And the Komotomo bottle is one that I hadn't tried yet. So this was $2 and I got that for him. Um, we have tried it. I put the tag back on, but we've tried it a couple times and not really any different than any of the other bottles so far. I do like that we can squeeze it and make liquid come out. And so he's getting probably a little more than he would before, but then after like a minute, he's over it and just starts pushing it away. So not a success, but that's okay. It was cheap. And then I probably didn't need to go to the cloth diaper section, but I love cloth diapers and they're so cute. And I, I restrained myself this time because I only got one set. These were $12 and 50 cents for a three pack of um, cloth diapers with three covers, three charcoal inserts, and three bamboo inserts. So that's a really good deal. There's this one that has like bikes on it and stuff. Then there's this chevron one. But the favorite, the reason why I got this is because there's a camping one. And we go camping every year. We're going in August this year. And it'll be just cute to have him in that. Honestly, we mostly use disposables when we're camping. But I'll put him in this like the last day. Um... That way, when we're, like, if he poops in it or something, we'll be home to rinse it out shortly thereafter. And now we are going to move on to the clothes. I'm going to start with myself because there's only two items. I actually got two items for myself from the maternity section. Yes, I know I'm not pregnant anymore, but still got the mom belly hanging around. So these cinched up maternity shirts are kind of like my go-to. This still has the tags on it, and I got this for 7 dollars so just a simple and you'll notice a pattern here i didn't even realize it till i started showing them everything i got but i really love stripes apparently let me know how many striped items i bought challenge for you guys while you're watching this the next one i got is this flower one and this was only four dollars and it has the cinch sides as well and it has like a longer short sleeve which i really like Okay, now for River's stuff, and I'm going to start with the hats I got him. I got him two little sun hats. One is just this blue, what brand is this? I don't know what brand this is, but it's just a basic blue hat. It was only $2, um, and it has the straps on it, which is what I was looking for. The other one is from H&M, and it's like a light blue with a little anchor on it. Super cute, it was only $1.50. So those are the two hats I got for him, which should, like one or the other, should go with whatever he's wearing throughout the summer, so we're good on that. And I have one more that's like probably a little too big for him right now that we he can grow into. Um, I also got him two swim diapers, reusable swim diapers. Uh, that's one thing that I forgot to register for when we did our baby registry. So we got a lot of cloth diapers from our friends and family, but I didn't register for swim diapers. So this one was only $2.50 and it has the cute turtles on it and fish. And then this one has the whales and anchors and it was 
And then I got him two little swim outfits. I actually got each of the kids two swim outfits. One is this little shorts and then the long sleeve uh, rash guard, which this was $2 and then the shorts were $2. So it was $4 for these two. And I got him these mainly for when we're in like swim class and stuff so he can um, we can just put him in the shorts if we want to or if the pool's a little colder we can have the rash guard on him and just keep him a little warmer and then i got him this one which was three dollars and it's a full body one and i got him this one for when we go camping at the beach because it'll be less likely to get sand all up in his diaper that's what i'm hoping so we'll see if that works um, and then as for clothes, he didn't need much. So really I was only looking for two kinds of things. I was looking for these, uh, short sleeve shorts rompers, and this is a six month, which is going to be too big for him. He's nine months now, but he's tiny. So this was $3 has a cute little crab and whale on the front. And that's what I was looking for. Easy diaper changes. Nice cool summer clothes the other thing i was looking for are these hoods something with hoods so i found a couple of these shorts rompers that have a hood on them and the reason for that this one was three dollars by the way and these are all six months the reason for that is because he has an ng feeding tube which we're hoping actually to have out this week um but the tube it just hangs there and it's frustrating we hate take to we hate tucking it into his like onesie and stuff because then if he lays on his back and it gets pushed back there, it's definitely not comfortable to lay on. And so the hooded ones have been really nice because we can tuck it into the hood and it stays there really well and he doesn't even like know it's there. So I wanted to get a few more of those as well. And then this is the only like pajama thing that I got. It was just so cute and it was $3 and I just love the triangles on it. And that is nice and thin so it'll also be good for summertime sleeping and then here's another little romper i got this one was also three dollars the shorts and then this one also has a hood this one says dad's best buddy it was three dollars as well and also has the hood and then this is a two pack which was four dollars and they're um, the tank top uh, rompers so perfect for summertime and he is all set he has plenty of onesies we are so thankful for friends and family who have handed stuff down to us from their kids so he's pretty much set I just wanted some more of those specifically okay moving on to Quinn I got her a sun hat as well it was three dollars the tags off of it because she wore it when we were hiking yesterday and it's this sun protection zone brand pink hat that has the little what is it like cinch thing on there so that it can fit them better and it has these to go under their chin that way when we're at the beach they don't blow off their head and blow down the beach that was definitely something i was looking for and then i also got her two swimsuits this one was more for kind of swim class and indoor stuff it was only three dollars and Love it, love the pink and blue. And then this one is more for when we're camping at the beach. So it's got the um, separate bottoms, which is great for going to the bathroom and stuff. And then it has the long sleeve uh, rash guard and the whole set was only $5. And this is the Serco brand. For shorts, I got her two pair of shorts. Honestly, she probably didn't even need any um, she has a whole bunch from Bailey that fit her now, but I wanted her to have some new ones as well or new to her. And so I got her these, they have little flowers on them. They are children's place brand and they were $2 and they have the, um, adjuster inside. I don't get like shorts or pants for my kids unless they have the adjuster inside because they have tiny waists. And then I got these faded glory brand ones for $4. Just basic pink again she loves pink so I knew that would be a hit and then for shirts I got her this one was four dollars and fifty cents I don't know what brand it is but it's really cute it's like super soft and it's lace it's got a lace heart on it and it was I wasn't looking for long sleeves but that one was super thin so I wasn't too 
um, upset about that. This whole outfit is also new with tags and it was $8.75. And at first I saw the shirt, which I really loved, Better Together. And then it comes with the pants that match as well. So that was a big score. I am definitely willing to pay $8 for a full set of brand new clothes. $4.75 for this Wonder Nation outfit. I really mainly got it for the t-shirt to go with those jean shorts that I just showed you. But they do come with these capris as well that match like the middle flip flop there. So this is kind of two different outfits for her and that is great. And then mm, one of my favorite purchases is this jean jacket. It was $6 and it's a Gap denim jacket. It's the light wash and it's so soft i was really searching for one for bailey after i found this one for quinn and i couldn't find one but i might just buy her one on amazon or something because i think it'd be really cute to do some like summery pictures with a cute sundress and a light wash jean jacket that's a little cropped so that's my plan for a couple of summer pictures and then last but certainly not least is bailey's stuff this is the hat I got her. Same exact one that I got for Quinn. Quinn's was $2.50. This was $4. So $6.50 for two really good quality sun hats. And then for swimsuit, I got her this one for swim classes, which was $5. And it's a rainbow like mermaid print. I had a floral one too, and I FaceTimed her and let her choose, and she liked that one the best. And then for her rash guard, um, I couldn't find a set that I liked or just bottoms on its own. So this was $3 and I knew I wanted this. It says vacation mode. Let's see, there we go. Um, so that's super cute. Um, and then I ended up just getting, this was $4 and this is a two piece set and we don't let our kids show their midsections. Um, we don't think it's appropriate. That's just kind of, that's just our opinion on things. And so she won't be using like the bikini part of it, but she can use the bottoms to go with this top. So that will be perfect for her. And then I'll just keep the top. And when she grows out of this, I'll consign it. Or like if she wants to wear the top underneath this, that's fine too. We're not really worried about that. So, um, we have some options there. I also got her two pair of shorts. She also still has shorts she fits into and I think we're good there. So I didn't need much. Honestly, this was probably the lightest clothing haul that I've had at JBF because we just kind of didn't need too much, but these are brand new Gymboree shorts for $6. Still with the tag on it. They're like a lighter salmon pink color. And then these are Jordash. Let me know if I pronounce that wrong, but they're red and they're only $2 and they have these floral designs. They're like jean shorts. And again, they have the um, adjusters on the inside so that they fit their waist better. And then Bailey desperately needed some cooler weather pajamas. She um, has, I think, two pair of pajamas that aren't like long sleeve, long pants, or like the fleece kind of material. So I couldn't find a lot there for her, but I did find two. I don't like to get characters, like characters like unicorns and movie characters and stuff on clothing, but on pajamas, I don't really care what it looks like. If I know they like it, then that's all I care about. But this was only $3. It's a unicorn print. It's just a short sleeve pajama gown. And then this one just has this little French looking dog on it and it has the like silky soft like capri pants so these will be two options for her if she doesn't want to just wear like tank top and shorts to bed that she actually has pajamas she can wear when it is hotter out and then oh man I love this one so so much this is another top favorite item that I got it's only four dollars and it's a forever 21 varsity jacket she's gonna look so cute in this and this is probably gonna be pretty big on her for now but honestly it's gonna fit perfectly in the fall and winter and it's a pretty thick coat i mainly got it with camping in mind because when we're at the beach it's just a little cooler especially at night so she'll be able to kind of like wear that over even like long pajamas and still have plenty of room and keep warm so that's kind of what i got that for but fall and winter it'll be really good too and then i got her let's do this one first this is a little romper outfit. This was $2 and it's shorts and it has the little detailing on the bottom here. Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. 
um, with a little pink drawstring there and I like how it has it has these tie um, these bows on the straps I like how it has the straps like this and not like a racer back one because she can pull it down to go to the bathroom a lot easier she loves this one this was three dollars it's old navy and it's like it's like a salmon color and it says creative and then it has the definition in an example with the word creative she definitely is creative and she loves that shirt she wanted to put it on right away and i was like wait i have to do the jbf haul first and then this one i actually found in the um girls like 10 to 12 section when i was helping me i was helping my niece look for clothes for her but it is definitely not a size 14 like it says on the tag but it was only two dollars another striped pattern just a simple it's very thin again i was just going for kind of the cool summary these last three items are all stripes <laughs> i should have spaced them out a little bit um but she likes them too so that's okay this is a hani h-a-a-n-i brand and it is a long sleeve but it's a super thin long sleeve we live in western washington so even in the summertime there can be breezy days it's not a bad idea to have some lightweight long sleeve items and i really like the back it has this little flap on it so also can create some kind of airflow through there and the really cute lace pocket is a great detail as well then i got her this striped um black and white gold trim shirt from four girl two brand and this was four dollars so it's got like the gold lined um, arm sleeves and head hole and then it has a little tie down here which is another really cute detail and then the last item i got before i show you guys what i spent is this old navy tank top and it was three dollars just a basic tank top for her to wear in the summer so now what i want you to do is pause this video and type down in the comments below what you think i spent on all of this stuff and i'm going to tell you right now but if you haven't commented pause this and go comment all you have to put is a dollar amount and we'll see who's closest but here is the receipt Keeping in mind that I got seven of those Kiwi crates for $10 each. So if you want to pause again and go edit your guess, you can do that. Um, and I spent a total of $387.40. And that was for 78 items. That's a total of $4.51 per item. And considering, again, that I spent ten dollars on seven boxes that brought that average up a little bit i'm usually more in like the three dollars per item range which is probably what it would be if we took those out of there and i am super happy with that haul as of today i'm filming this on sunday which is the last day of the sale uh i have made back 337 dollars from what we have sold before so i'm about 50 dollars in on what i've spent and honestly i wouldn't be surprised if we make that up in today's sales and i ended up spending a net zero we'll see i'll let you guys know down in the comments that is my spring summer jbf haul for our three kids i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you look up the jbf sale because i know it's not in just our state they have them all over the place and there could be one near you and it is so so worth it especially to sell your items and make back what you spend and not spend much at all um, in a given year on clothing and shoes for your kids as long as you don't mind gently used items then it's a gold mine to go there and i highly highly recommend it i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a thumbs up if you did click subscribe if you're not already but for now remember to stay humble be kind and i will see you next time i also got her holy cow it is dumping outside Holy crap, I have to show you guys this storm.